Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on the controls and images repositories of WinAutomation. WinAutomation uses actions to interact with web or desktop applications, or even interact with images that exist on the screen. You can use dedicated actions, in which you need to specify the exact elements or images you want to control. This way you can put on autopilot the applications you wish to perform tasks on. For example, in the Click Link on Web Page action, you need to specify the web instance of the browser that you are interacting with and the control you are applying the click to. Similarly, in the Move Mouse to Image action, you would need to specify the image that you want to move the mouse to, and whether this image exists in the foreground window, in general on the screen, or in a specific subregion. Further down on the Move Mouse to Image Actions Properties window, you can specify how the mouse should be moved in case the image is found. In both cases, the controls and images are not saved directly to the actions, but to the central control and image repositories, so that they can be used multiple times by numerous actions. Let's take a closer look at the controls repository. The controls repository is located in the bottom section of the process designer. Once you click on the Add Control button, the process designer disappears, and you are able to capture the control of any element guided by the orange rectangles shown on the screen. To capture the control, you should hold down the left control key and left click on an element, for example, the recycle bin. The control has been captured, and now it appears under the parent control desktop icons. Every control needs to be nested under a parent control. By right clicking on a control in the controls repository, you can access the selectors that it uses. The selectors show the path in the application structure that WinAutomation uses to access the captured element. In this case, there is only one selector created. You can add more selectors by clicking the respective button or recapture the control to extract the selector again. In case you want to modify the selector, you can do so by clicking the Edit button that opens the selector builder. For this, you can also select the Custom Selector Builder to set your selectors manually if you are experienced enough to do so. In the event that you have multiple selectors, you may reorder them by using the arrows on the right-hand side of the pane. The first selector will try to access the element in runtime. If it fails, then the second one will also try to access the element. If it fails, then the third one will be attempted, and so forth. By right-clicking on a control, you may also find its usages in all the actions of the processes that it is associated with. You may also rename the control in the repository or even delete it. Once you have completed the development of your process, you can remove any controls that are not being used by an action by clicking on the Remove Unused Controls button. Similarly, the Images repository holds any images being used within the process. Again, you can capture an image by clicking the Capture Image button and select the area you would like to capture the image from. Then you need to set the name of that image. In case you need to perform any clicks so that an image appears before capturing, you may use the Capture Image with Delay option and set the delay seconds. You may sort the images in the repository by name or date and use the magnifier to zoom in or zoom out from them. Of course, there can be no modifications to the images, so by right-clicking on an image, you are able to recapture it find its usages, rename, or delete it. Similar to the Controls repository, once the development completes, you are able to remove any unused images. This was a tutorial on WinAutomation Controls and Images repositories. Thank you for watching.